Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris and it's great to be back here again today. Today, we're gonna talk about an interesting call we got in the tech department and it has to do with servicing mini implants and O-rings. We know when that patient walks in the door or if you're a technician, you get the call from the clinician. How do I service this case? It looks like the mini implants. We all know the first thing we need to do is measure the diameter of the neck or of the ball. 95% of mini implants have that 1-8 diameter. We know that the drop between the height of contour on the ball and the neck is 0.6 millimeters on average, which means we want an O-ring with an internal diameter of 1.2, or if there's wear on the height of contour of that ball, you see little wear facets on it, we might need to go with a one millimeter internal diameter. A question came up the other day and the clinician said, I'm just tired of replacing O-rings. O-rings are great, but on average, you do need to replace them every six to 12 months. When you compare that to a locator, locator inserts you replace every 18 months. So I absolutely understood the point the customer was making. And the customer said, hey, can I use some of those 1.8 millimeter ball females you have on this mini implant case? Now that's a great idea, but the only issue with that is because this 1.8 ball has flats on the side of it that are 1.5, there's simply not enough surface retention between the ball and the female to provide sufficient fit and retention for the patient. So unfortunately, unless you go down to a 1.5, which once again, you're not gonna get that ball into that 1.5 insert simply because you have the 1.8 wide parts, it's just not gonna fit. So when you're working with the mini implants and they have the flats cut into the side of the ball, it's not a full 360 degree spear, you need to stick with the O-rings. Keep in mind the key factors, measure the diameter of the ball or measure the neck. Once you have that information, we have everything you need to help you service that patient. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you next time on Tech Talks.